Will crypto fashion be tiny or huge by 2030? Meet Ricard Lindvist, one of a growing number on a mission to revolutionise the fashion industry. And meet Layla, who loves buying fashionable clothes at the Dubai Mall. I'm Simon Darling, welcome to Life in 2030. At the end of this video, I make a prediction about how huge crypto fashion will be by 2030 on a scale of 1 to 10. To answer this, we look at the technology, the companies, what's to love about it, and jobs. By 2030, the technical challenges to visit crypto fashion stores online will be solved. Today, Layla buys fashion by visiting stores at the Dubai Mall. By 2030, Ricard will have created crypto stores for Layla to shop in that live in a virtual world powered by blockchain technology. These shops are full of crypto clothes that have been minted on the blockchain. This means that every piece of clothing comes with an authenticated design by specific designers she loves. Ricard uses crypto avatars to display clothes for shoppers, viewing them in virtual reality. Shoppers like Layla can even chat with the clothes designers in the virtual store. The technology to try on crypto clothes, although challenging, may be solved by 2030. By 2030, Ricard will have created crypto platforms that enable Layla to try on different clothes using her personalised digital avatar. She creates an avatar which is an exact 3D image of her body. The avatar is then embedded on the blockchain where it is accessed easily by shops Layla visits and updated whenever she wants. Layla uses it to try on crypto clothes and see what looks good. The technology then needed for customers to check the tag will be solved by 2030. By 2030, the history and origin of each garment will be registered and verified on the blockchain. And when scanned reveals each step of the supply chain that is recorded for all to see on the blockchain. Shoppers view where the product was made, who the designer is, whether it is ethical, i.e. no child labour, and they can even see how green the clothing is by tracking CO2 emissions. The technology needed for shoppers to buy Ricard's crypto clothes do not require any major innovation. It is already solved. By 2030, Ricard will create marketplaces for crypto fashion, which includes cryptocurrencies as a payment option. Shoppers open their crypto wallet, choose which cryptocurrency they want to buy it with, it might still be US dollars, but a digital version, scan the QR code, then funds are immediately distributed to the designer, the shop, and everyone involved in its supply chain at the same time. No middlemen taking a cut. Won't that be amazing when it's that joined up? Because the technologies needed for crypto fashion are mostly solved by 2030, it suggests they'll be at the huge end of the scale. Now we look at crypto fashion companies. Will an existing company like Calvin Klein, who make this jacket, also be big in crypto fashion? Crypto fashion will be huge if there are unicorns, startup companies that have a valuation of more than a billion dollars, and when there's plenty of big established companies like Calvin Klein that are active, represented by an elephant here. Crypto Voxels is one of the early pioneers, but nowhere near being a unicorn yet. It was created by Nolan Consulting, surprisingly a games developer from New Zealand, not a fashion company. It is powered by the Ethereum blockchain and it recently hosted a digital fashion show. A single pair of digital sneakers was sold for $10,000. Metafactory is new and growing. It is building digi-physical goods that connect both physical and virtual worlds via blockchain and embedded microchips. It has its own token called Robot, which is designed to support new crypto fashion designers. It's already selling crypto hoodies and jackets, which come with an address that is verified on the blockchain. A jacket from their Genesis edition sold for $600. Provenance is a third interesting startup. Jesse Baker, the founder, started the company out of frustration at how little we know about the things we buy. Her company makes sure that ethical and sustainability claims by brands are verified and can be trusted by using the blockchain along the supply chain. Although still in its early days, Jesse's company has attracted a number of brands. 
Several multinational companies are already active in crypto fashion, including Nike and Gucci. Nike is minting crypto sneakers linked to real-world sneakers. This protects buyers from counterfeiting. Gucci and other luxury brands are joining the party, launching all sorts of experiments. Although there are no unicorns today, and although multinational companies are only just starting to experiment, I'm going to stick my neck out here and say that I think by 2030 there's going to be several new crypto fashion unicorns with billions invested into them over the next decade. From a company point of view, therefore, this points to crypto fashion being at the high end of the scale by 2030. If you're enjoying this, hit the subscribe button for more predictions about life in 2030. I've got out my shopping bag because if crypto fashion is going to be huge, it'll be getting five star levels of love from shoppers by 2030. Crypto fashion gets five stars for delivering a great shopping experience. By visiting virtual shops, Layla can choose from any brand in the world and chat and get advice, find new talented designers and even talk to other shoppers and bring her friends. Perfect Fit is amazing and gets a five stars. Today, Layla struggles to find a size that perfectly fits her. With crypto fashion, Ricard and others use Layla's avatar from the crypto platform to see exactly what it will look like on her, and if being made just for her, design a perfect fit. Shoppers will love being able to trace the origin of crypto clothing, giving it five stars as well. By 2030, shoppers will have access to trustworthy data for each piece of clothing, able to see the entire logistics supply chain from manufacturing to sales, helping them see if they like how and where it was made. It scores four stars for less waste and so better for the environment than the fashion industry today. Crypto fashion is less wasteful because people don't ship clothes back and forth to try them on because they get the right fit first time, thus helping reduce the greenhouse gas footprint of the fashion industry from the 4% or more that it is responsible for today. From the point of view of the amount of love shoppers will be giving it by 2030, it's at the high end of the scale. Now we look at jobs. If crypto fashion is huge, then there's going to be lots of jobs hired and fired. Counterfeiters will be fired because it's easy to see whether an item is genuine or not. On the hired side, Jesse's team is in its early days with only 29 employees with roles including designers, blockchain developers, operations, finance and legal. It's well worth looking at LinkedIn if you're interested in getting a job in the crypto fashion sector. Helping you make good career decisions is a big reason why I'm doing this Life in 2030 channel. Jobs in fast-growing new sectors like crypto fashion are exciting and can be more secure than in older sectors. I was fortunate to join the e-commerce sector with eBay in its early days and have benefited ever since. Jobs in the crypto fashion industry are all around the world. Crypto Voxels is headquartered in New Zealand, Metafactory in San Francisco and Provenance in London. Set up some job alerts for these companies, it's easy to do on LinkedIn and click to have a look at my Finding Great Jobs for Life in 2030 video. Because at the moment there's few jobs being hired and fired, from a jobs point of view it points to crypto fashion on this basis alone being at the low end of the scale. Now we've covered all four sections, it's time for me to make a prediction. We've seen the technology needed is mainly solved but at the very early stage. I think there will be lots of big unicorns. There are fantastic reasons for shoppers to love it. And although there aren't many jobs being hired yet, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to stick my neck out and say that crypto fashion is going to be towards the top end of the scale by 2030, at a surprisingly high 7. If you like this, sign up for my Life in 2030 newsletter for updates on this prediction. Click the subscribe button to get our steady flow of new predictions to inform and inspire you. And have a look at our prediction on Hyperloop and one on living to 200 years old. I'll see you in the next video.